Thank you so much for when we played in the best two out of three when you four owed me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> when you four owed me. You're really good at Yu-Gi-Oh. I think you have the best deck in the world. Thank you, bro. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Spanko, today with Alpha. And Alpha, I'm just going to let you explain. What did you do today? Guys, I have went undefeated. Okay. But. He didn't just what? play any deck. But with what? Bussin? He played Buster Blader. Bussin. And uh, you went first place today. Yeah. XO. Yeah, yeah, actually. So, you know, haven't been playing that much, but because, you know, the format's sort of, you know, back and forth with how people want to interpret it. But, you know, I decided to play something for fun with what I had, and it turned out pretty good, you know? I played against two tier, one sprite, and one flunder. Uh, not in that order, actually. It was like tier, flunder, sprite, and then tier again, tier again for the finals, obviously. Yeah. How could they not? Tier. Base, how could I not base that in the finals? But yeah, for the most part, it worked out really good. There were so many cool, intricate things about the deck. There's a lot of uh, a lot of planning that went into it prior because yeah. I was like really uh, hyped up for playing it. Um, you guys can check it out on my channel where I show off a combo video, more in-depth explanation. But I'm just gonna show off the profile today. I give a little bit of a brief explanation overall. So yeah, shout out to all the friends who let me borrow cards as well. Make so. sure to check out Alpha's channel. Uh, guys, link will be in the description. We're so close, like 1K. Please, I won this one for you guys. The other people that need to sub, I won this for you. Yeah, this is Buster Blader King right here. All right, uh, this built this deck is built also just to before we get in. It's built to beat the tier limit matchup, right? Yeah, but it had but the Buster Blader cards are so innately good against other matchups, anyways. Okay, as the people might be able to figure out as we get into it, it just sets up a skill drain. Right? Okay, yeah. archetype just sets up a skill drain, so that's just inherently good into things like Thunder and stuff, right? Yep. So yeah, uh, I think the deck needs a little bit of work in moving forward, but for the most part, everything works out really well. All the engines, all the side pieces, it all just fits together really well, honestly. Alright, let's get right into it. Alright, so we have the three normal summon. We have Buster Whelp. This gets to the essentially the one card combo. The yep. one card combo just sets up the entire skill drain lock. And I'll get into that a little bit more later. But this is an important normal summon. We have uh, Buster Whelp. Some of you recognize this from the Union Carrier days, where you attach it to essentially extra deck lock your opponent, right? And you don't use Union Carry, you actually use a Synchro Dragon because the Synchro Dragon will just equip it from Grave uh, onto your Buster Blader monster. Again, all from a one card combo. And so, yeah, so that's really easy. But the other really nice piece is Buster Wizard because this is one sided Abyss Dweller, right? So, and you can imagine how insane that is in tier matchup, right? Because it's even stronger than the extra deck one because it doesn't let them fuse at all because everything happens in Grave. And it basically locks them out of the Paralino to pop anything. So your board, so they have no real in archetype way to deal with your board anymore. It also stops the Ishizu stuff. Yeah, exactly. So it's just great. Uh, this what people always talk about one sided Abyss Dweller. Like what would happen if the game had that? And uh, we have that. So you know, it's lit. Uh, next up, we have the next big uh, sort of nice addition to the deck, which is three Lebellion. Uh, as you can imagine, we're on a hefty amount of Bistids because Bistids work super well in this deck for multiple reasons, right? So one, they're just super good into the format, right? Of course. One. Two, it's an extender, essentially, because this acts as another dragon body on the board. And when you get an extra dragon body on the board, you get into, uh, you know, a Link 2. A Link 2 such as Seals, right? Seals gets you into another dragon that we're playing that works super well with this one because we get to contact fuse with the entire opponent's board. Oh. As a hint, as a hint, we get to contact fuse the entire opponent's board. All right? Okay. So you guys will uh, see- So even going more. second, this deck can kind of break boards inherently. Inherently, a little bit. You're already running so many Bistids and these solve the big problem that the deck has, which is it's a control deck, so you're not really pushing for damage most of the time anyways. Okay. But the Bistids help you push for damage, like it's insane. Yep. And speaking of pushing damage, we have these cards. Um, so you can kind of start imagining what other power cards are running in the deck. Yeah. But when you when your only hand traps in the deck are all ones that put 2k damage on the board in a control deck, or well, when your deck is basically a stun deck, yep. to be honest with skill drain, you can imagine how insane it is, right? And obviously all of these synergize together because all these archetypes were kind of made sort of in tandem with each other, if that yep. makes sense. And actually, I guess to kind of start addressing where these like big power plays come from, uh, we might as well start addressing the Albaz, right? Because, yeah, as you can imagine, what, the reason we play this is probably for the Nadirs you're going to see. And the reason we play this, you can imagine, is for the Brand Fusions we're going to be playing. And this all just weaves together, right? Because when you get to go... When you get to go uh, Seals, tag into Albaz, 
And keep in mind, this keeps every turns everything on your opponent's field into a dragon, right? Yep. And what does Albaz do on summon? Contact fuses with everything, right? Yeah. yeah. Alba Lenidus. Yeah, Alba Lenidus. All right. So you guys kind of get a little hint. I keep kind of spoiling the hint, but it's just I'm so excited to show it off. Oh my gosh. Is that the pen god himself? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? This profile got so much more insane. Anyways, thank you. All right. Yo! I love Bistiels. Bistiels are lit. It's not Bistiels. So that's the trick. Come here. Show him what it is. Show him what it is. Show him what it is. No, it's not. It's Buster Blade. Oh, okay, now it's even sicker. Buster Blade is lit, man. You guys hear that? Pen god approved. It's lit. All right. But yeah, so you guys can imagine, these are all insane cards. They put up insane amount of damage. They help fix all the problems that Buster Blade once had. Yep. So you guys can just imagine just how insane all those uh, was able to do. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just hearing 10 best decks in the background is funny. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, continue. Two of the cards that we don't actually like seeing because well, the one downside of Buster Blade right now is that it runs some Garnets, right? These cards, when you see them in hand, you can't really do what you want to do. But thankfully, we do have run some other cards that you'll see in a little bit that help solve that a little bit, right? Okay. So you really don't want to see these in hand, but they still work out no matter what. This is another cool spicy card I just playing. It was it might be cuttable or puttable on the side. I might put it on the side, actually. Because uh, we have some cuttable spots on the side. But this is basically just triple DD Crow, right? You control a Buster Blader thing, and then you just get to banish three, I think, uh... Same type, yeah, same type. So it's kind of like a uh, aerial DD Crow, and you can just imagine. Big big uh, Banish from Grave, insane, yep. right? And speaking of spells, this is where I get really excited, where it's just so many insane power cards. The three Nadir Servant for the Dogmatica stuff you saw, the three Brand of Fusion for the Albaz you saw, and of course, uh, Prosperity because it just lets you see everything else, right? Yep. But Nadir is really good because, like I mentioned, those cards, you really don't want to see them, right? So you have cards like Ferragi, which in worst case scenarios, you can just shuffle them back to draw a new card, right? Brand of Fusion. Brand of Fusion, actually, you can hard make your Buster Blair guy with the Brand of Fusion if you really wanted to. So that's yep. another cool layer of synergy. But it's also nice because, it's, again, it just keeps giving you follow-up. And control decks don't have a good time of getting follow-up, especially Buster Blader. Yep. But all these cards help you get follow-up, right? Mirror Jade, send things to get follow-up. It's all insane, right? And another spell card, obviously, we know, uh, Branded Regain? Yeah, Branded Regain. Another big power play um, because you'll see that because our dragon is such a like a lower level dragon, right? We can turn it into Sky Striker Dragon, and then once it's engraved, we can just banish it off of like whatever reason uh, to just draw a card, a free card, right? So there's just so much value that happens with just the Bissed Engine, and all it's all possible because of this guy, right? Yep. Uh, as for our traps, we'll obviously connect right to the Branded Beast, which means obviously we're setting up so many layers of interaction on top of the Buster Blader Lock, which is absolutely insane. We have the the real one card combo. This is what you pull off of the normal summon. This is the one card combo, right? Because what it does is it sends a destruction sword card and a Buster Blader monster, which is basically. Give me one second, sorry. Oh wait, whoops. You'll basically be sending this guy, and it says destruction sword card. You don't actually have to send another monster. To send this card, well, actually, we run two of them, <laughs> right? You send this to basically special summon out your Buster Dragon. Uh, give me a sec. Yeah. You do that to summon out your Buster Dragon, right? And what this does in Grave is you banish it plus a dragon to make your fusion, right? And that's your skill drain lock. That's why it's like a one card combo, right? Yep. All you need is to, this one card to resolve and you get the skill drain lock, right? Yep. So that's all you really need. And again, you're running these two and two cards that you don't really want to be drawing. But again, we have ways to solve that, right? Okay. And the last cards we're running are three trap trick because trap trick is just another copy of the one card skill drain lock, right? So why would you not run it? And yeah, I think the deck was around 42, right? Uh, I think I'd cut maybe that uh, Buster Blader spell card and put it in the side deck because uh, against certain matchups, it's not that useful. So in hindsight, I probably put this into the side, but for the most part, uh, that's not a bad card. You know, can't, I mean, can't disagree with how the deck performed, obviously, right? Of course. Uh, for the extra deck, we are on two Buster Dragon and two Destruction Swordsman. Yep. Uh, obviously, again, Skill Drain Lock, so it's lit. We are on the Lubellion. Albion. Albion. Mirror Jade. Brain lag. I was like, who this guy again? Yeah, Albion. We're on, the, we're on these three. I want to run more because we're running three Brand Diffusion, but at the same time, it's like, you can still kind of cycle back a little bit with the Lubellion. You have like, you have conservative yeah. plays. Um, 
You can even sometimes like end up using the branded uh, continuous spell to like start tucking things back funny enough, which is yeah. nice. Uh, this one was a cuttable one because the, the logic is when you go Mirror Jade, it can connect you into the Dogmatica package when you send this. But at the same time, it's like, you know, it's not that important. But it's kind of nice too because it acts as an Elbas target at the same time. And the MVP is obviously this guy. Because again, when you turn everything, they, your opponent controls into a dragon. And when your seals tag into an Elbas and you get to suck up their entire board for this, it's actually hilarious, right? Yeah. So I got to do that one time to a Flutter player. Because they were just like, they just have like a couple of birds. I'm like, nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. They're not really birds at that point. They're not birds. They're the dragons. Uh, Entis and uh, Garua. This conflicts with... Actually, I guess I might as well address like the three Nadira targets. Obviously, these sort of conflict with uh, Pross. But you're not going to draw Pross all the time. You're going to draw Nadir sometimes. And that extra draw comes up, the pop comes up, and again, shuffling that other Garnet back also comes up a lot. Okay. And the other one, Striker Dragon, sometimes you just need to put a Dragon Grave, right? This sets, this is a foolish for any of your Buster Blair cards, or your Destruction cards, rather. And the main part is it tries to dump you one of your little other babies, right? So that you can equip them. Yeah, you can because you can equip them. Exactly. So when you open as many extenders as possible, you're able to go this into this to get everything. Yeah. Sometimes you have to just choose between one or the other. So you either choose between contact use to the whole board, or you go into the lock, right? Yeah. Some, but sometimes you get all of it, which is... Um, how do you break Even that? Insane, how do you yeah. break that? How do you break that, right? Um, so, initially when I planned this deck out, it was just for Tier Shizu, nothing else, right? I didn't have too much to worry about. But with the new ban list that came out a couple weeks ago with all that back row hate, the, I'm, like, you know, yeah, macro. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna make my main deck deal with Tier Shizu as best as it can. Because I'm like, this is not the ass, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep that out. This is non-stop, right? So we just deal with the tier season that way. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that my uh, side deck can deal with all the nonsense DiFi and all that stuff, right? Okay. So we're running just an absolute butt ton of back row hate. I mean, I guess this is like pseudo. Like these three are like these six are like and spell trap. you know they're kind of in that fray. But yeah, you know all these and for. I mean, to deal with the monster stuff, obviously, with Regeki. I mean, this is really good into the all Flood Race matchup. Like, stuff I like told that. myself that my main deck should win as long as it's going first. Yep. Right? It should win as long as it's going first. So I'm just going to put in everything that can deal with the going seconds. Yep. But then again, deck's not perfect. So the one thing about change when I go first is I put in Kwaki Meru. Yep. So I, instead of going to Elbaz, I'm just going to go into Seals. And it's nice because, again, I already have a skill drain lock. You can't really do anything. Those monsters are already big. And I'm putting out... A, Florida Elite and uh, Bestial Monsters. So that's always almost lethal under this card, right? Yep. Well, after, well, I summon all those first. Yeah, 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 yeah we I, get and it. Then yeah, I, yeah. And then I go this, right? So it's like, uh, and then the one Serenir because uh, we need more dragons. So yeah. Uh, and it's an extra, I guess, uh, tier hate card. Exactly, yeah. All right, well, uh, congratulations. This deck's really cool. Thank you, man. Uh, proud of you. Bussin. Bussin. Bussin Blader. Is that YCS champion Rayhan giving me the thumbs up? Wait, right. give me the thumbs up? Okay, anyways. Alright, uh, well thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to check out Alpha's channel. Uh, he'll have a more in-depth explanation, combo video, all that kind of stuff on his channel. Oh, oh shout out to uh, Richard Zang, aka Dino Boy, for going all the way uh, out of city to get me this. Yeah, he, he literally came from, where is the, how far is it? Well, or Waterloo? Like an hour? A couple hours Yo, bro, away. Thank you so much for when we played in the best two out of three when you four owed me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> when you four owed me. You're no. really good at Yu-Gi-Oh. I think he's the best deck in the world. Thank you, bro. Thank God approved. I don't know who that was, but yeah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did. Check out Alpha's channel. Link will be in the description. And with that, Spanko and Alpha signing out. Peace. <laughs>